Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be unboxing Ziv. The screen is easy to set up, it's easy to use, and works any laptop. Uh, Zivic um, gives you three screens to work your laptop you guys so and to boot productivity it's lightweight with instant setup and 15 seconds let's do open it first before we set up of course The packaging is really, really nice, guys. What's up guys, this is Alex from Zbeck. Stoked to have you here and excited for you to get connected with your new Zbeck tri screen. Let's get right into it. When you get your tri screen, go ahead and take off the plastic wrap and set the box out in front of you. Open the lid to see the protective padding and the welcome letter. Make sure to tag us on social media when you're all set up so we can feature you. Put those to the side. Now grab the tri screen out of the mold and let's set that to the side. Next. You will lift the small protective sheet to reveal the cables and accessories tray. Let's take a look at what's in here. First, we have our accessories bag. This contains your kickstand, Velcro cable tie, four cable clips with adhesive backing. Next, we have your two rubber bracket adapters. And finally, we have your cables. Let's take a look at these. You have three different types of cables that come in sets of two. First, we have your 90 degree USB-C to USB-C cable for both video and power. Then we have your USB-A to USB-C power cables. And we have your HDMI to mini HDMI video cables. Finally, you will see your user manual, which we highly recommend you read through before using your tri screen. This also contains warranty information, 
some safety guidelines, and other best practices when it comes to using the tri screen. Let's go back to the cables. As I mentioned before, you have three different types of cables that come in sets of two. Your 90 degree USB-C to USB-C cable for both power and video, your USB-A to USB-C power only cables, and the HDMI to mini HDMI video only cables. The combination of cables that you will need will depend on the types of ports that your laptop has. Let's take a look at the back of the tri-screen. First, you have your menu button, then the brightness up, menu up button, brightness down, menu down button, USB Type-C video and power input, mini HDMI input, and finally, your power only USB-C input. First up, we will connect to a 13 inch MacBook Pro from 2016. This laptop has two Thunderbolt 3 USB-C ports on either side. So for this, we're going to use the two USB-C to USB-C 90 degree cables. Let's plug it in. First step, open your laptop. Next, simply grab the tri-screen from either end, placing your thumbs over the elastic mounting points, and expand the bracket around the back of your laptop screen and slowly release, allowing it to hug the edges. Holding the top corner of the bracket with one hand, pull the screens out one at a time. Then, tilt each screen to your desired position. Now it's time to plug it in. Plug the 90 degree end of the USB-C cable into the USB Type-C video and power input of the tri-screen. Plug the other end into your laptop. Then, repeat this same process for the other screen, and you're all set. Please note that the right screen input layout is flipped for the screen on the left. Feel free to adjust the angle of the screens to what's best for your current setup. You can tilt it up to 180 degrees to share with colleagues on your left and right, or to achieve the perfect viewing angle. Next up, we will connect to a Windows PC laptop that has two HDMI ports and two USB-A ports. For this, we're gonna use the two HDMI to mini HDMI cables for video and the two USB-A to USB-C cables for power. Plug the USB-C end of the power cable into the USB-C power port of the dry screen. Plug the other end into one of the USB-A ports on the laptop. Then, plug the mini HDMI end of the video cable into the mini HDMI port on the tri-screen. And plug the other end into the HDMI port on the laptop. Repeat both of these steps with the other screen. Whenever you're done using your tri-screen and it's time to go, simply unplug the cables from either side and slide the screen back into the bracket. Unplug from your laptop, close the screen, pack up, and you're ready to go. You can leave the tri-screen on the back of your laptop and load it up together in your laptop bag, briefcase, or backpack. To configure your display on a MacBook, Open up the System Preferences and select Displays from the menu. Click Arrangement from that display menu. Make sure the Mirror Displays box is unchecked. Here you will click and drag the screens to configure as shown. The screen with the white bar on top represents your laptop's actual screen. As you click on each box to the left and the right, you'll notice that they light up in red. This lets you know which screen is which. To zoom in on any of the screens, click the display menu on that screen and click the scaled radio button. From there you can select 1344 by 840 or 1024 
by 640. If any of your screens are upside down, click on the rotation drop down menu and select 180 degrees from the menu options. Go ahead and click confirm to accept these new settings. When you're all done, you want your display settings on your laptop to look like the configuration menu shown here. Go ahead and click on each screen and make sure that they highlight in red accordingly from right to left to verify you have the correct screens in the correct location. To configure your display for a Windows laptop, click the start icon, then settings, go to system and click on display. This window will allow you to arrange your screens in the correct order. First, click the identify button. This will show you what screen 1, 2, and 3 are on your laptop. Next, go ahead and drag the screens so your primary screen from your laptop is in the middle. The left screen is on the left, the right screen is on the right. Click identify again. If you've done this incorrectly, you might need to swap screen 2 and 3 until you can hit identify and your physical screens match the arrangement in the display settings window. Click apply and you're all set. If the edges of your laptop screen are too thick for the edges of the bracket to clamp onto the side, try slipping on the rubber bracket adapters. You may also need to do this if you're working with a 12 inch laptop screen. To remove the adapters, simply peel or slide them off. Now let's talk about how you can customize your tri-screen with the included accessories. Once again, we have your Velcro cable tie, the kickstand, and the four cable clips. First, let's take a look at the kickstand. If you notice that the weight of the tri-screen is causing your laptop to fall backwards, you can always use the kickstand to support the additional weight. To use the kickstand, simply put the metal end into the receiving end of the back of the bracket and when you're done, you can remove the kickstand, rotate it 180 degrees, place it back into the receiving end for safe storage. Based on the height of your laptop, you may need a taller or shorter kickstand. To make it shorter, simply remove the rubber tip from the long end and place it on the short side. When you're done, put the rubber tip back on the other end and you're ready to roll. Now let's talk about the cable clips. We include four adhesive back cable clips with your tri-screen to allow you to keep your specific cable setup organized. Simply peel the adhesive off the back of the clip and place it on the back of the tri-screen. Press down for a few seconds to secure it in place. You can add the three remaining clips to the back of the tri-screen, whatever configuration is best for your setup. The final step for organizing your cables is to loop them through the cable clips and tie all the cables together using the included Velcro cable tie. If one of the USB-C laptop ports you're using for the tri-screen is also your laptop's charging port, you can take advantage of the pass-through charging feature. This allows you to plug your laptop charger directly into the power port of the tri-screen, keeping your laptop charged up. Thanks for following along.